So today in this video, I'll show you how we can use Power Automate to send birthday emails or anniversary emails automatically to the people or to the students who are working in your organizations. So there are multiple ways to send emails. We can uh, check the employee date of birth or anniversary date and we can manually send the emails. But it's too much of time consuming and there may be some errors and uh, it reduces the productivity as well. So instead of that, we can automate the task. We don't have to come and check the date of birth every time and we, we don't have to compose the mails. So we can use the Power Automate to automate this task and we can send the emails uh, at a specific time. Suppose at 12 a.m. in the night if you want to send or 12 p.m. whatever. If you want to insert any emails or any birthday temp email template formats and all, you can do all the things inside the Power Automate. So there are totally different ways we can achieve this in the Power Automate. We can use Excel or we can create some PowerPoint sorry, SharePoint list uh, with the details of the employees details and all. And we can also use external data sources to send the email. But I am going to show you how we can achieve this by using SharePoint list. So in order, in order to do that, first we need to have the SharePoint uh, access. We, we need to have the SharePoint license as well as Power Automate license. After that, we are going to create the SharePoint list with the details and we are going to fit that details inside the Power Automate and we are going to create a condition if the date of birth is today's date of birth then we are going to send a mail otherwise no need to send the mail. So if I have to show you an example just I have tried once see this is uh, the mail which I have received happy birthday and inside that you can see this is the body this is the subject and here it is the image. So all these things we are going to configure in this video right now. So to start with let's come here and uh, let's create a flow we are going to create a scheduled flow so that at a specific time we can either manually trigger it otherwise it will be triggered on a scheduled basis so click on new go to scheduled flow and uh, flow name should be dynamics power birthday birthday email and we are going to repeat after every let's uh, rent uh, every 10 am in the morning so create it and now see the first itself when you open recurrence will be there. So here it shows that it runs every day at 10 a.m. If you want to run it uh, at the interval of some period of time or in a month, you can click on the edit and you can change that. Okay. And now we are going to add some more conditions. So first we are going to check, get the today's date of time so that we can use the date of time to compare with the list first we are also going to create the SharePoint list but first let's get date of time date and time so here just click on compose compose data operations okay and input let's get UTC UTC means right current time UTC now okay click on okay save it okay now we are we need the details employee details our date of birth or name everything so for that let's create the SharePoint list go to your SharePoint let's create a site first and inside the site we are going to create the lists so create a site from any site you can choose dynamics power birthday birthday email and when is it now here we have the, there are so many features here you can upload the document page whatever you know this just click on the list if you see we have different options available here you can either import it from the excel if you have already thousand of employees details with the name data birth, everything there then you can click on the excel and you can import or csv file whatever you can click on that and you if uploaded here the tables will be created but right now let's go with the blank one so birthday email create it now let's provide some column name like what is the role of the employee so let's go with the role and you can change the data type from here and if you wanted to make it uh, a mandatory or all anything you can do it from here go with the save now let's get the date of birth so DOB of employee 
Okay, and we don't want time, we only want date. Save. Also, let's get the email so that we can use the email address to send. Email address. Okay, and uh, okay, sorry, this is here in the add column you have to give that create the field email email address save so these are the fields you can create more fields as well according to your requirement right now i'm going to provide the value so click on new here rajneesh engineer date of birth let's give today's date of birth 31st email address and save so let's create another employee details as well like dynamics power test and uh, date of birth let's give some another date of birth 17 mail okay so now we have the list available right now i have only created two there may be multiples as well so uh, now this one is done save okay now go to the home now it may take some time to uh, reflect this list inside the sites okay so no need to worry it may take some time wait for one two or five minutes it should reflect go to your sites and uh, here it, it should be visible but right now let's see how much time it's going to take this site okay it's not there so uh, now here I have I am taking the UTC date. So UTC date means it is going to take all the, like 2023, 31st of May or 1st of June. Everything it's going to take. So I am only going to take month and date. See, suppose if we if you want to, today is 2023. So it's nobody's born today. So there is no no meaning of matching the date. So we are only going to match the time sorry only going to match the month and the day so just remove this and uh, let's format the date so format date and time and in this one we are going to give utc utc now and now we are only going to take month and date month should be in capital capital caps click ok this is done now click on the new step and we are going to get the details of from the serpent list so click on get items choose sharepoint and uh, here uh, the the sharepoint uh, site and list which you have created it should be reflecting here so let's uh, let's see if it's reflecting power dynamics okay this is the previous one which i created so currently it is not showing not a problem uh, the previous one which i used for test purpose power dynamics here also these are the same details so come here go to your uh, lists birthday and you can see this power dynamics all the details are same only so wait for two or four minutes it should reflect in your power automate so as of now i'm only going to i'm going to choose this one only power dynamics and the list was uh, sorry power dynamics birthday list okay now uh, we are getting fetching the details fine now we are going to add the condition a condition to check the date of birth of each employee so condition now what you want to check so i want to check date of birth so here date of birth should be there employee date of birth and date of birth now as soon as you select the date of birth it is going to change apply to each so whatever that the employees have level here if 5000 employees are there so it is going to check each employee's date of birth that's why apply to each is uh, here now now we are going to add the condition so if employee employee date of birth is equal to today's date then yes we are going to send mail otherwise no so here this one is taking just copy this one control c remove this now in the upper here in the uh, compose we are only taking date and time sorry date and month so same thing we are going to do here so go to expression and in this one just paste it what we copied from here 
paste it right okay before pasting it just remove it right now okay and uh, we will first format it right format date and time inside this one we are going to paste the value remove okay this remove at the rate okay and now here also we need to only get month and date so mm mm and dd this is done okay now let's if s yes, i want to send the mail so click on add action and send email so send email version okay one minute send email and in this one uh, to whom to whom so to the email email body was there right email field was there so add dynamic content email part and subject happy birthday happy birthday now here also if you want to give any a dynamic field happy birthday to the title then you can select from the dynamic contact here now coming to the body part here let's give dear uh, what is the title title wishing you wishing you a happy birthday okay now just sending this one it's not looking much attractive or good so we are only also going to attach a photo so for that uh, go to the html tag click on this one copy this break we are going to give another break and uh, now image source image source is equal to let's get any image birthday email birthday was okay images wishing you happy birthday open new tab i want the address of this image so open new tab here it is copy it so go to your power automate and let's paste it here close the tag okay now this is done let's save it and let's taste it now if it's working or not if there is some uh, issue in the for data and format those expression then it, it should not send the email otherwise if everything is fine it should send the mail so test it click on manually test it has ran run flow now this page we are going to see meanwhile let's check if that uh, it is showing or not the previous uh, SharePoint list which we created go to sites okay ignore this so in the flow we can see the test has it this it ran successfully click on this one to check the condition the first or second condition which ran so it has got the date and time it has got the details SharePoint list and in apply to each here it has got the it is run uh, it is false so it means send an email this one was skipped and okay no email was sent so let's check for uh, debug this click on this one edit option and see where we did mistake compose format date and time here format date and time utc now this is fine only okay and here in apply to each condition format date and time okay place okay sign in now okay see see here we didn't choose the output so we need to choose the output which we have given here right format date and time so here output we need to select it so scroll down select the output save it and now we are going to test it so this time damn sure it is going to send the mail so we need to check all these things these are the main things outputs the conditions and all after that only the mail will be sent so let's test it to the previous mail itself test and okay it has run successfully and the condition a which condition okay see send an email this success uh, this condition was satisfied and the mail has been sent to manumas at zero this mail and this is the body part so let's come and check the email here in the email you can see just now it, it sent the mail 
happy birthday dear Rajnis and this is the email so now the email is not looking much proper this uh, this can be managed just go to your power automate and where you are giving the image link there itself you can provide height width whatever you want in the email inside this one here you can provide you can see some html code or whatever now uh, just to provide the summary here what we are doing here is uh, we have set the recurrence every day it is going to send the mail at 10 o'clock if date is matching the date and date and month and we are ignoring the year because nobody is born in 2023 or 2022 so it is only taking date and uh, month now we are composing we are getting the today's date and uh, we are getting the uh, SharePoint list details which we created here in the SharePoint after getting it we are applying uh, this condition to each of the employee to each of the employments whatever the details was there as needs dynamics power exposure there may be thousand of rows so it will be applying to each and it is checking a current date matching the same above, above uh, condition date and month and if it is equal to the output above then it is sending mail otherwise it is not sending mail so this is all about uh, how we can send the birthday email or anniversary email using power automate if you have any doubt any concern you can just comment it below and i'll try to get it back thank you bye bye